Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Scorpio friends. This is a reading for 2019 for you. First, go visit my website, www.christelmartinet.com or write to me, readings at christelmartinet.com. There you'll find a lot of information. <laughs> A lot of information about me. I'm a clinical hypnotherapist. I work with past life regression and I also work with the Akashic Records. I'm certified to work as a, a soul realignment um, specialist and that means knowing your origin, soul group of origin, knowing who crosses your path, your soulmates, what they do, what happens, why doesn't it work out, blocks and restrictions, clearing them, all that stuff. You can go read. Now, how are we going to do this? The first half of the reading is going to be on the month of uh, January, and well, it'll all be on the month of January, but I want you all to concentrate on thinking to choose whether right, center, or left, because I'm mixing the Vera Sibila, these wonderful Vera Sibila cards. I've been asked, oh, I want to know, I would really like to get, I would really... And by the end of the year, if not the end of summer, by the end of the year, I'll be having, um, I'll be publishing a book about the Vera Sibila. So you'll be able to get that in e-format, uh, off the shelves, any way you want it. Okay, I'm cutting in half. Now I'm cutting into three. Think right, center, or left. It's going to be the right. All right, got it. Got it. Now, this is the immediacy of the situation underneath those two decks that we didn't choose. And then I'll roll, roll. I'll spread uh, rows of five cards and take a look at what I see for the month of January. And what do I have here? I've got interesting, exactly four rows of five cards each and a, one for every week now what do you what happens to you as you come into the month scorpio scorpio friends there is a new air of wanting to communicate there is the desired and you do there is communication here there is uh, as soon as the the clock strikes midnight plus one minute two minutes three minutes and so on you feel open to communication more so than anything else to oral communication, which is a beautiful thing. And it's just new for you. It is new for you. And you feel that it's new for you. And you feel like it's, you're hoping that it'll last, but you're not, you know, you, you're just riding that wave. What do we have in the first week? We have a situation of harmony because in your mind, you would like to meet a person of your choosing, but you already know that that's not going to happen. This is the first week. You already know that that's not going to happen, but you're okay with that. You're harmonious with that. Okay, we have this card of friendship here right next to that. It's, you're, you're happy with that. Then you feel so wonderful once the week is coming to drawing to an end because you realize that, well, maybe then something will give. Maybe I will, will be able to see that certain person uh, that I'm thinking about. This could be anyone. This could be a romantic partner. This could be a business partner. This could be someone you've been trying to see for a long time. Second week starts and you have difficulty in freeing yourself up uh, you're very busy in work. It's a, an extremely profitable month for you of the uh, a week for you of the month. Um, if it, you know, the whole month of January, the second week is going to be your best bet for earning what you need to earn. It will also start making you think, however. It will also start making you think that perhaps, what am I doing? I'm spending all my time working. What is it? You know, this is not a good thing. You know, you're thinking to yourself. Then we get into the third week of January. And here, you um, start to entertain written communication with, um, you begin. It is the beginning of written communication with a person uh, uh, that is uh, very dear to you, a person who has children, I'm saying. 
um, who has uh, had a past, let's say, family life, you know, whether they're free or not. This is the cards are not telling me that. Um, but I'm seeing you very intent. It's almost, it's, it's not bordering on an obsession, but there's a lot of thought there, a lot of thought. And the interesting part is that at towards the end of the month, Scorpio, um, so, sorry, towards the end of that week, the third week, you start doing some crazy type of things. You know, you sort of uh, try to find information out about a person in an in a uh, hidden way, you know, in an uh, un you know not not transparent way. You know, let's say if you're interested in knowing about your neighbor and they haven't been around and you're seeing their car's not there, you know, then you start thinking, okay, well, let me go look. Let me go ask the person, just have a coffee with the other neighbor and see if I can get some information. Or those of you who are able will try to hack somebody's computer. Those of you who are able will send those uh, veiled messages, okay? Now, then you get to the last week. We get to the last week. And something happens that um, – and I'm stopping here because I'm getting so many messages at the same time. There's so many different scenarios here because I'm seeing a very difficult situation in relationship to a man, um, a, a very difficult situation in relation to a, a, a person that is dear to you or was at one time. Um, I have to blow my, I have to, I have to, my nose is itchy, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. In relation to a man, but a person who has been in your life for a relatively long time. And what you do see is that that man is with another woman. They say in Italian, ormai, by now, you know. And this is um, something that you weren't expecting, even if you have another life. You have your own, your own you know, life. Um, this could also turn the other way. Um, you, you catch wind of, of a former woman who was in your life, who was very in your life for a very long time, and then who had reached the status of friendship, because there's the friendship here that is underscored. And then you see them with another person. You see that woman with another man. And um, and you're just thinking, well, then finally at the end of the month, you, you come away with an unconditional mindset. And you say, well, I wish them well. Okay? I wish them well. And that's what the cards are telling me. But Scorpio, you know, let's take what the runes The runes are a little more severe in giving the messages. So let's take a look. Well. Let's see what this is all about here. What I'm seeing here, first of all, is a, a key. Um, in the first week, we talked about um, you knowing that you did not want or you, you will not be able to see this person of your choice, the person that you wanted to see, you won't be able to. But you understand that that is a godsend, that you perhaps are not ready to see them. However, however, um, you also, they're mirroring the cards, these runes, and they're saying that um, it's very important for you to continue that idea of talk. And remember, you started the year now, open conversation, exchange, harmonious. It's something new for you. Here, they're telling me that you need to step up and continue that, even in relation to that person who you won't be able to see right away um, and favor conversation. Okay. And in relation to the second week here, I have a situation where, yes, as, as the cards have said, your work will not allow you to move in any direction in relation to a person of your choice, but you are uh, safeguarded. I have Aljits here, the um, Hue tree Aljits here that tells me, look, don't worry. If you don't see that person, you both are under a, a lucky star. The universe has your, you know, has you together. Okay. Um, now, 
what is also interesting is that the runes are telling you Tyr, Brightstave, and Urus, Merkstave. And they're saying, look, Taurus, you need, yes, to communicate with that certain someone, third week, in writing. That will be the measure of success. You need to take the bull by its horns and face the communication straight on, no matter what they write to you, no matter how they respond to you. You need to press, you need to push the envelope, as they say in English. Then there is a lovely, you know, this person, that special person that, remember I said the person who has children, um, that uh, you start entertaining conversation, uh, written com communication with. There's going to be a fervent exchange, a, a, a very positive exchange, and um, an abundant exchange. You're going to feel loved there. You're going to feel loved there. Now, I hope this part was of help to you, but now let's take a look up. Scorpio, at those other signs, the, all the signs of the uh, zodiac, to see what they have and what they represent for you in the month of January. Let's take a look. Now, I'm going to use this deck, which is called the Egerhoff Tarot, Golden Edition, the Egerhoff Tarot. It's a Germ German. It's a Russian deck. It's a Russian deck. Beautiful. They have, it's uh, similar to Rider Waite, but mm, the major arcana cards are slightly different. And when they are uh, different, I'll explain them a little better because they have a specific meaning, which is different, differs from Rider Waite's universal tarot. Let's start with the Aries card. Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, a fellow Scorpio or you yourself, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Air, Aquarian, Aquarius, and Pisces. Let's take a look at the first of uh, you and an Aries. The science. Well, this is typically... In other decks, it's the high priestess. But this one talks of unity, talks of, it's the symbol of integrity, integral understanding of all things that you see and that you don't see. And the meaning here is to awaken the senses. This Aries will awakening your senses in more ways than one. <laughs> you get my drift? You get the drift? And uh, they will also, this uh, Aries will give you the ability to use your intuition and will instill some creativity and give you ideas. Let's go to the Taurus. Taurus is the nine of swords. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, Scorpio friends, if I were you, for at least the month of January, this is someone who will create a difficulty for you in terms of fear, right? They will instill fear um, on you. Let's go to the Gemini card. The Gemini card is the nine of coins. How lovely is this Gemini? How lovely they are. They are lovely. They are full of life. They're full of abundance. They're full of unconditional love and attracting it to you. If you keep them close, you will shine by the their reflection of light. It's a beautiful combination, this Gemini with this card. It's a beautiful card. This is a person you want to keep close to you. And next is the Cancer card, the Four of Swords. Now, the Four of Swords card is a card in the Cancer. The Cancer, the role of the Cancer person is going to say, hurry up and wait. Now, they're going to just postpone things and postpone things and postpone things. Or they're going to lengthen things if they want to have you under their thumb they're going to lengthen them they'll say yes 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 but then they're going to postpone things or delay them okay so be beware of that then we have the leo lovely leo the ace of cups the ace of cups of course we would say here uh, tarot readers say oh this is the beginning of love this is the offer of love but the leo card here 
um, this Ace of Cups, this Leo person for you is an offer of something. They give you something. They can offer you a partnership. They can offer you a job. They can offer you a contract. Take them up on it in the month of January. Then we have for Virgo, this is the Ten of Cups. How lovely is that? Better than an ace? Get that ten. <laughs> Get that ten. The Virgo, um, Scorpio, the Virgo in your life is a person who is going to bring you whatever you want and what you don't even expect, okay? Uh, they're the kinds of persons who, who will say, okay, Scorpio, look, what do you say? You want a car? Okay, let's just put it black on white on paper. Cost 20, I'll give it to you to 10, for 10 because I'll, you know, I know that you're good for the rest. A person who is, is going to be supporting you with every, almost blindly, okay? Then we have, um, uh, that is the Virgo, then we had the Libra card, the Four of Coins. Now here, I always say that the, um, that the journey's out, the journey's out, the jury's out for the, uh, for the uh, Four of Coins. I don't as, uh, um, ascribe to the to thought of miserly, you know, the miserly card. This Libra for you is a person who will um, start to instill notions of unconditionality. Let's say that you start thinking about this Capricorn, uh, sorry, this Cancer, uh, Four of uh, Swords, the person who delays. And, and you say, well, you know, give it a break. Don't think that that person is typically just out to get you. Just wait it out. What does it mean for you anyway? That's only one person in the, the sea of persons. You know, they instill the, the light into your life. Then we have... The, a fellow scorpion, a person who could be a person, another Scorpio in your life, or you yourself. And this is the page of coins. Let's let's um, uh, take both of those meanings. The page of coins in another person is a younger, typically a younger person. It's a person also who is, is full of light, is a person who's going to bring you light, not bring you to light, but bring you light. And um, if it's not a person, if it's you yourself, this is a spark of um, curiosity, considering all things that are esoteric, all things that are spiritual, all things. And it's not just a question of, oh, who made the universe? Who did that? Where is the, what came first, the egg or the chicken? No, it, this is you musing on universal laws and um, thinking it's a, it's a mind opening uh, uh, moment for you in January. Then we have the Sagittarius um, role in your life person is the, is the page of cups. Here too, the page of cups is a person, if, if and only if you have these people's, people in your life. First, let me um, uh, say something that the reading that I did before was for Scorpio, sun, moon, and rising. Here, when I talk about these other persons in your life, if you have these other persons in your life, are for their rising sun and moon signs. Here, the Sagittarian is can be a younger person. It's a person also who makes you an offering, um, who tells you, no, if it's not an offering, it's more like, look, a suggestion to put in a CV in that company because they're looking for somebody who... Uh, 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 supplier that does what you typically do try that okay. they give you they give you suggestions then the Cam capricorn in your life and this is the king of coins a typical capricorn card earth sign this is the capricorn in your life okay if you want to do this let's take a piece of paper the pros the cons what you get out of it, what you lose, and then we make a decision. They are very rational, and the Capricorns here are very material, spiritually materialistic inclined. I hope I got that right. Then we have the um, Aquarian in your life. And here I've got the four, nice two fours, four of wands. 
the Four of Wands. This is a person who speaks of home. This is a person person who means home to you. This could be a family member. Um, and if it, as a family member, they instill a sense of security uh, during that month, in uh, this month of January. And the last card, the King of Cups, the Pisces. This is a typical Piscean card, okay? Here too, the Pisces in your life. This is unconditional love. This could be a man or a woman, but it's typically a person who may be a little older than you, could be a parent, could be an older sibling, could be an older lover, could be an older wife, husband, companion. It is something that is unconditional. Okay, You can close your eyes. Don't worry. You can even act like an idiot. Unconditional. Because they, they have your best interests at heart, Scorpio. I do hope this was of help to you, ladies and gentlemen, Scorpio friends. Namaste and thank you so much for your support. Like, share, and subscribe. I would be so happy about that until we read together again. Namaste. Bye-bye, Scorpio. Bye-bye.